this trend line to the downside, uh, any break below, uh, you could sell the dollar on a break. This is on a daily time frame, by the way. All right, back to motive wave. Euro dollar um, crude overlay. We already took a look at this. I want to look at the S and P in euro. The, if the S and P is now leading the way, it is certainly killing it to the upside. Um, so euro dollar might have some catching up to do. The problem here is actually gold. Um, gold has not played nicely, and uh, if gold's any indication here on dollar strength. Um, Euro dollar would catch up either with gold or the S&P 500. So either gold or the S&P are, are lying um, because crude and euro are doing the same, pretty much the same thing. Enough to say that we'd say this market, you know, these two are, are likely not lying right now. It's gold telling a lie or the S&P that's lying. So euro will catch up with one of them. And so will the dollar, and so will crude. So it's going to be interesting to see which. Our bullish primary in the euro, we're not even going to look at the bearish primary because I've almost ruled it out, um, at least until above 147.50, um, which would be our bearish primary, rather, which in this case, it means this wave two is not done. We'd still get some kind of wave uh, where you're in. I think that that pretty much answers what, what I think could happen, but I'm very unlikely. We're going to keep with this triangle until it's wrong. Um, this could be a little bit more complex, um, but for right now, the glove fits, and we're going to trade it as such. So at any point, this first wave up could be done, and we could get our pullback, uh, and then it's up, up, and away from there. Uh, we you know maintain our 154 targets on the euro, um, and potentially even the, uh, don't have it up there, but the 178 target. Euro franc um, getting just about to where we want to sell it, in my opinion. So I'm going to see, we're going to see how this, what happens on Sunday. It would be great to see the euro franc gap up to the 124 figure, this 123.75. If that happens, we're selling that gap and uh, probably pretty good size too, at least a half a position uh, because this this to me just looks like a textbook expanding flat and that we'd see you know our next final what could be a final downside leg uh, down to that uh, whoops down to the 115 area a good solid break below 118 lows uh, Australian dollar um, already mentioned this but uh, do think we could head higher and uh, that's actually um, you know, one, I, I maintain a 112 target, 112.80. So that's uh, that's what we got going for you this week. I hope I uh, hope hope everybody uh, had a good week. Um, I know we did at Impulse Traders. Um, again, we're still going to offer the free one week uh, through the sun. Cut all that out. Start back here. All right. So anyway, I will be. Um, Again, I want to remind everyone I'll be out of the country July 10th through the 24th, so don't expect much in the way of uh, updates from me. Um, I'm going to have a nice vacation. I'll be in Europe. I'll be traveling. I'm going for a, uh, a wedding in Paris, and then I'm traveling on through Italy uh, for the following week. So I will. Uh, I'll be manning the ship next week lightly. I, you know, I don't know how much we'll uh, how much we'll actually trade. I'll be perfectly honest, but we will uh, we'll get some good ideas out there. And certainly the euro franc is compelling, and I'd like to see the euro dollar come down as well so that we can buy it to go long. So uh, with that being said, um, I hope everybody has a great 4th of July. Happy Canada Day to those Canadians out there. And um, I hope ever, all those Americans have a great 4th of July. You know, I'll be celebrating, and uh, I'll be back. Remember, U.S. markets are closed on Monday for the holiday and uh, you know I'll be basically back with you uh, intermittently next week and then I'll be gone for the following two weeks so for the next month it's going to be a little bit quieter uh, we're, we're, video updates will kind of come to a halt but we will be getting written updates out as well as managing any active trades we have and getting new signals out to you guys so hope everybody uh, has a great holiday have a great kind of summer doldrums here and we'll be back with you as volume and price action uh, comes back to play